which of the following best describes the relationships between the two lines above? All right, so give yourself the two minutes and 15 seconds here. Pause the video, give it your best go. And here we go. So taking a look at the answer choices, we see parallel, perpendicular, intersecting, but not perpendicular, and overlapping. So let me take a second to explain what the answer choices mean before we get to the work. Overlapping, that means that we have the same line. Intersecting but not perpendicular just means that they have different slopes. All right, different slopes that aren't perpendicular. If they were perpendicular, then we would classify it as perpendicular. But if it's not perpendicular and they have different slopes, then we would select C. And then parallel means same slope. And then perpendicular means opposite reciprocal slopes. All right, so if you need any more explanation in terms of what those mean, I would definitely recommend checking out our boot camp. If you're in there already, again, this is skill 3.7. So here we go. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite both of the equations in slope intercept form. So I'm gonna rewrite them in slope intercept form mx plus b. That's the best way to go about it because we'll be able to see the slope and the y-intercept. We'll make an easy comparison and we're done. So let's go ahead and start off with the first one and then the second one. So the first one, 5x plus 3y equals 9. All right. And so what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and move the x over by subtracting 5x from both sides. So bam, gone there. 3y equals negative 5x plus 9. From there, we're going to divide both sides by 3, or all sides by 3. And then that's going to give us y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 3. So there is the first line. Now let's go ahead and do the same for the second line. I'm going to go ahead and grab a different color here. I'll choose that nice little green there. So 3x minus 5y equals negative 15. And what we're going to do here again, same deal, get the y by itself, because I want to write it in that form. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. From there, that eliminates, and then we have negative 5y equals negative 3x minus 15. From here, I'll end this by dividing both sides by negative 5. So I can get that y by itself, giving me y equals Negative 3 divided by negative 5 is 3 over 5, positive. Keep the x, and then negative 15 divided by negative 5 would be positive 3. And there it is. Boom. There's my answer, or not my answer, but there's my result. And now let's go ahead and compare. When I take a good look at this, I see that this is a negative 5 over 3 as a slope and a positive 3 over 5. Those are definitely opposite in sign and definitely reciprocals of each other. So with that said, well, look at that. They have to be perpendicular. If they had the same slope, they would be parallel, which is definitely not the case. Uh, if they had the same slope and same y-intercept, they would be overlapping, which is not the case. And it's not C because they do intersect, but they intersect at a 90 degree angle because they have opposite signs. So this is a positive. And then they're flipped, they're reciprocals. That is the definition of perpendicular. So with that said, boom, we are not, or we, hopefully we're not uh, confused anymore. Hopefully we have a little more information here that we can apply to the next problem. So give it a shot. See you in the next video.